I have a friend who score 100 upon 100 for every maths paper. Wow. Have you ever come across someone who has 100 upon 100 for every maths paper? I have. I have this friend. We were in prison together. We were studying. I used to get 7 upon 100 in the early days when I was playing a fool but of course when I was really studying in prison I used to get about 80 plus sometimes 90 but mostly around 80 plus range but still an A a distinction in O levels but my friend he always gets 100 upon 100 I was like wow amazing I was so envious of him but at the same time, I was so keen to know how he actually got 100 upon 100 every single time. There was one time, he actually falls sick and he was having high fever on the same day. There's a surprise test. I was like, yeah, he's not going to get 100 upon 100, you know. And after the test results came out, you know what? It was true, he didn't get 100 upon 100. In fact, he get 99 upon 100. So I was very keen to find out why and how he's getting his 100 upon 100. Is there a magic formula? Is there a magic portion? Something he's doing or is he copying? Somehow he's getting 100 upon 100 for every paper. Hey, how about happily ever after? Well, what does it do? Maths the only subject you can definitely get 100 upon 100. Come on, it's logical, right? You put the working, you put the formula, you put the results, definitely you get the points. Secondly, I realize it's not just about practice. Practice is very crucial. Practice, practice, practice. Right, practice, practice, practice because it reinforces the skills, the, the memory work in your mind. There is this thing called the wardrobe metaphor. It's in the wardrobe, right? You put your clothes and then you use them and then you wash them and then it goes back into a pile of clothes. And the next time you want to go out, what you will do? Will you dig deep under for a shirt that you want to use? Or you just see whatever is on the top, whatever is just there, ah, just take it out and use again. You'll definitely use the one that is on the top of the pile, right? That's how our brain works. If you keep it at the top, the next time you want to use it again, it's easy for you to retrieve. But the more you don't use it, it goes underneath the pile and it gets harder for you to retrieve. My friend, what he does, he wrote all the formulas in the book. Outside nowadays, we got formula books. He religiously, every single day, like looking at the Bible, he looks at it every single day in the morning and browse through all the formulas. He keeps doing it, keeps doing it, keeps doing it. Even though he has known all the formulas, he never stops doing it. And the result, even if they give him a surprise test, he aced it. All you need to do is to let things be on the top of the pile of your brain. Spend 10, 20 minutes just refreshing the formulas. So trust me, you will really improve your results. All right remember do it religiously all right all the best for your upcoming exams that you are preparing right now and remember to subscribe to david king for more beautiful tips and secrets for you your future